MotherNode CRM provides an electronic file cabinet in all primary functions, in addition to one general file cabinet to research and manage all electronic documents stored in MotherNode. This enables you to upload, store, review, and retrieve relevant files tied to specific records, including customers, contacts, leads and opportunities, cases, and transaction records, including quotes, orders, purchase orders, work orders, and invoices. MotherNode provides a sizable storage limit, the size of which will depend on your MotherNode CRM edition. First, we'll take a look at how the file cabinet works at the record level. I'm going to open a customer profile record. And again, this example that the steps that I'm about to show you, the process is exactly the same here as it is for contact records, leads and opportunities, cases, and all the transaction types that I mentioned previously. So in the customer profile, just as an example, I will find and select my files option, which is the file cabinet for this record. And typically I'm going to want to go right in and upload and attach a file to the respective record that I'm in. It's as easy as clicking the upload function, giving the file a brief description, selecting the appropriate category, and then selecting the file to be uploaded from my computer. I can see that the file uploaded, and when I click Save, I get the upload successful confirmation message, and it appears at the top of my list. I can also see other files that have been uploaded and associated with this particular customer profile. So the most recent will indeed be at the top. Now the list is fully searchable, so I can type a name or a partial name and click search. And I see all the files containing the text that I typed in the search field. I can click clear to see the full list again. And then as far as the management, of the files are concerned. Going left to right, I can see clearly the file type. In this case, it is indeed a PDF. You can see references to common image files like PNG and JPEG. I can also see my options, including download, so I can always download the file. If I don't wish to download, but I would like to see a preview of the file, I don't necessarily have to download it to see what it is. I can simply click the preview button and now I see the preview of the document and I also have the opportunity to share the file with someone else by clicking the share button and then it brings up this dialog box I'll click copy to place it on the clipboard and now I can paste the link into an email or another form of messaging to send it to someone else and they'll have a link. They simply click it and they'll be able to view and download if they wish. I can also see the name of the customer that this is applicable to, the category type, the upload date and who uploaded it, and the size of the file. Now we know what remove will do. That will uh, delete the file if needed. Edit will allow you to update or add a new version of the file. So you can see the reference to versioning on the left and the way that versioning works is that if I have a new version of the form, I can click on edit, modify file description and category if needed. Typically it's going to be the same document because you're updating it. I will go ahead and click this to upload the new version of the file. I can see that it's uploaded. I'll click save. I get the confirmation, click close. Now I can see on the left that there are two versions of the file available. To see both versions, I'll click the down arrow. Now I can see version one of the file and I can still view it, download it, share it. And then with the latest version, I also have the download, preview, and share options. So versioning works very well in that way. You can locate previous versions of a file 
as well as manage the current version. Now Mothernode provides a general or global file cabinet and you can find that within your productivity menu. Just go to File Manager. And here in the global file cabinet, you'll see all files that have been uploaded for all records within Mothernode. So they end up being stored in one complete place. So you can manage the file at the record level, but you can also manage it globally from your file manager or file cabinet list. We can even see the recent file that we uploaded and tied to our customer record. We see it at the top of our global file cabinet list. All of the same options apply here that I showed you at the record level. You have the ability to download files, preview, share, view current and past versions of the file, and view the specific data related to the file, customer location, category, upload date, who uploaded it, file size, the ability to delete a file, and then edit or add new versions. You also have the ability to upload new files in this global file cabinet by clicking new in the upper right. You can specify a customer. This is optional, so you don't have to do this, but if you do wish to tie it to a customer record, you can do so. Just begin typing the customer name, make your selection, select a location if applicable, or leave it at default. And then as we saw at the record level, specify a file description category and click here to locate and upload your file. Finish the process by clicking save. So as you can see, it's basically the same process, very fast, very quick, and very easy. Now this list can become quite extensive over time because you and your team members will have been uploading files to various records within Mothernode. So we include various search functions that allow you to easily find the file that you're looking for. If you're not sure of the record that a file may be tied to, you can come here to Productivity and File Manager, and you'll have access to these search functions. You can search by customer name. It is an active search, so it makes it very easy, as you can see, to find the file that you're looking for based on customer name. You can reset to bring back the full list. If you're not sure of the customer name and you know what the file name is or partial file name, you can search uh, that way as well. You begin typing and you can see that it's a very active and fast way to find a file. Additionally, you can search by category type and you can also search by file type. And as you can see from this list, Mothernode supports a wide variety of file types for the file cabinet function. In this case, if I select PDF, it will immediately show me all of the files that have been uploaded that are PDF file types. Additionally, your list can be sorted in ascending or descending order by file type, document, customer name, category, upload date, and file size. Just click the column header to sort accordingly. If you wish to filter out smaller files from the list, you can do so by clicking this setting symbol and then making the adjustment here. And in this example, all files that are 20 kilobytes or less will not show up on the list. This could come in handy if you are sending over correspondence, let's say from Gmail, or Outlook through our respective extensions and plugins. And sometimes in addition to attachments, you may have small image files that are brought over as well, like company logos, and may take up a very small amount of space, but they also take up a line in the list. So by making this setting, it allows you to filter out those smaller files from the list, and it makes the search experience more efficient. So with Mothernode CRM's file cabinet, you have the ability to tie critical data, critical files to customer, sales, and transaction records, keeping all of that critical data in one place and keeping everyone on the same page. 
For more information, visit our YouTube channel or customer support site. Or with any questions, please contact us directly at customer.support at mothernode.com.